All right, today we're going to um, discuss extending and retracting a, a CZ pole trailer. Uh, CZ Engineering makes these. And the first thing to know is that we need to, so per the length of pole that we're going to haul, you can find in an operator's manual, hopefully on the trailer. If you can't, you can go to CZE.com and find out how far you want to extend your trailer to. The trailer is extendable in 30 inch increments. Here's the point where we uh, do our adjustment at. It's important to understand that our wheels are chocked on our trailer when we do this. Um, but this being the area and the other thing when it's at full extension, provided it's decaled properly, there is a decal that's saying you're at the last spot. And this electric plug, needs to be unplugged. If it's not unplugged, damage will occur to the electric circuits. So that needs to be done. If things are proper, there's a tether to the plug that I won't be able to get the main locking pin out without unplugging. It should, should be a, a safety that's involved in that. This is the main locking pin, the one holds it in position. The other one is a positioning pin and we will see how that works shortly. Here we have uh, two bolts that push on a jam plate that's under here. So proper procedure for this is going to be to loosen these bolts. As I do that, once these are loose, I'll have pressure on these rollers. We'll be able to move these easily. And we can see that this plate is loose under here. The only thing that these two bolts are for is they thread into the plate, they're tie wired, their only purpose in life is to keep that plate from falling out of there. So that one is taken care of as it needs to be. And there's a, this whole arrangement right here, there's a duplicate set of rollers and jam plates right under here. We can see the pin that has the rollers on it. And I'm going to loosen the jam plate under here. I'm going to remove the locking pin and then I'm going to fire up the truck and I'm going to pull it forward. We're going to move our positioning pin uh, for right now. We're just going to say we determine we want this hole to be lined up. We're going to put our positioning pin here and we're going to back up. Got the pin so that the cot, big cotter key and this pin don't get damaged when they hit right here. It gives us a little space and then we're going to back up. Taking care of our position, our pin goes back in. Now our trailer tongue is locked. Make sure that's in there and the cap lock has caught it. Um, before we drive away, we're also gonna, of course, need to check all our lights and brakes to make sure they still work. It should for every plug. And once all that's done, we retention our jam plates at both places. And that's it.